Hello, I am Dr. Venkat Ram Krishna, consultant and head of spine surgery, Erit Hospitals. Today we are going to discuss about sciatica. So we usually hear the term sciatica most commonly. Before understanding the word sciatica, let us know more about the spine structure. So this is how our spine structure is. The whole spinal cord is been protected by something called as spine, which is the bony structure along with this and the ligaments. So each basic unit of spine is vertebra. So this small bony structure is called as vertebra and between these two vertebrae we have something called as disc which is a gelatinous structure which acts as a cushioning as well as uh, for the movement. So if it is a complete bony structure we don't have proper movement at the lower back or the upper back or at the neck level. So this aids in the proper movement as well as as a shock absorber. So what happens is whenever the disc is degenerated or whenever there is excessive pressure on the disc, the disc tend to prolapse in this way. The red color structure which you can see is a disc bulge. When there is an excessive pressure on the disc, this tends to come out from the least resistant area. So whenever the disc comes out, it imparts pressure on the neural structure which is being protected inside uh, the spine. So whenever the pressure is on the nerve root, which is the yellow structure which you can see there, the pain radiates right from the back to the lower lip, which is called as sciatica because the components of the sciatic nerve comes from the lumbar sacral region. So this is a lumbar region and this is a sacral region. From this area, whichever nerve gets pressed, the whole course of the nerve is painful. So this symptom when the patient has from the lower back to the leg, whichever side the pressure is on, is called as sciatica. So to know more about the treatment for sciatica, we need to know the reason for it. So any pressure falling on the nerve root has to be removed. So if the disc is the reason, if the disc prolapse is the reason for sciatica, then we should see the severity of the pressure. So investigations are X-ray and MRI. After the investigations and before the investigation, we need to clinically examine the patient. Few tests for the sciatica are SLRT, straight leg raising test. When the patient experiences pain in the lower back and the pain radiating all the way to the lower limb, then it is called as positive SLR test. So in those cases, we confirm it with the MRI and the X-rays. Uh, once the diagnosis is confirmed about the disc prolapse, we need to see what is the best treatment for the patient. So most of the disc prolapse are treated conservatively. So only in few instances where we suggest surgery are severe excruciating pain in the lower limb with the weakness in the lower limb and any urinary problems. In cases where the disc size is very big and we anticipate any neurological symptoms in future. These are the conditions where we tend to operate and we suggest the patient to undergo surgery. However, most of the disc prolapse are treated conservatively without surgery. Almost 90% of the disc prolapses are treated conservatively with medications which includes NSAIDs and other medications. And when the medications are not working and if we think the patient doesn't need surgery, and we uh, suggest them something called as epidural injections or root blocks with which the patient gets good relief of pain. So to concise, sciatica is a, a radiating pain from the lower back to the lower limb because of the pressure on the nerve roots and the treatment varies accordingly. So at the initial stages, try to see your doctor and know the proper treatment for the pain and get rid of it at the early stage. Thank you.